Before we get into today's video, make sure you go check out Go Plugged Official on Instagram for fast and easy badges and stacked NBA 2K20 accounts. They are 100% legit, link in the description. Yo, what's up, AJC here. In today's video, we're gonna be going through the best playmaking badges you should have on for any build, all right? Whether you only got five playmaking badge points, whether you got 10, 20, whatever it is, guys, we're gonna be ranking the best playmaking badges so you know how to use them and the best ones to have on. So, we got that in today's video, but before we get into it, first, it would mean the world if you could just like this video. It only takes two seconds. And secondly, if you do wanna shout in the next video, all you can do is comment down below on this one, guys, playmaking, all right? So, that's pretty much it. We're gonna get straight into to these playmaking badges and we're gonna explain each and every single one of them all right let's go all right so here we are in the playmaking section and i'm gonna be showing you the best badges to have on no matter if you're you got five badge points whether you got 10 20 no matter what you are and even if you're a big man or even if you're a guard okay so we're gonna go through that in today's video guys i'm gonna show you the most essential badges to have on um and we're gonna start off guys with point guards or just guards in general okay probably upward between small forwards to point guards so point guards should got small forwards these are the badges i would definitely look at having on if you are one of those three positions and then we'll get into powerful and center later okay so first to start off guys quick first step this is an essential to max out okay quick first step as we all know just read the definition is when driving out of a triple threat size up ball handlers have access to quicker and more effective launches so to sum it all up it just basically gives you an extra speed boost when you're coming off dribbles triple threats and things like that and guys it's literally the best playmaking badge i've ever seen okay this is definitely a big plus in the game and quick first step has had me get open so many times and so effective on so many uh attempts okay so quick first step guys no matter what max it out i'm telling you that right now max it out you're going to be basically be able to speed boost some like some way um and it's just absolutely insane okay trust me you're going to be able to dribble much more effectively and get past people um with quick first step on now the next badge i definitely think is an essential is handles for days okay maybe get it on gold even silver um but if you do have like crazy amount of badges you can even put it on hall of fame but gold and silver is definitely more than enough if you guys don't know handles for days it just basically gives you kind of better stamina when it comes to to, you know doing dribble moves chaining them together combos whatever like that and you're not gonna be losing a lot of, of energy okay and that's really really important because if you don't know if you're gonna be dribbling guys you're gonna dribbling a lot or you go and come off screens and things like that you don't want to be blinking or you know have no energy by the time you're gonna take your jump shot or even drive to the lane okay you're basically nine times out of ten gonna be missing that unless you have like tireless score or anything like that okay so handles for days definitely helps you keep your energy up so i definitely look at maxing that handles for days out as one of the second best badges to get um because even guys when you're driving to the lane and you know someone clamps you up and you kind of get that bump animation that's losing your energy so ha having handles for days will definitely keep your energy up so you'll be able to finish at the ring or even get a jump shot off uh jump shot off sorry really effectively okay handles for days now the next one guys this one i think are essential essential badges but you only need to get them on bronze okay there's actually three of them actually i got unpluckable bailout and lob city passer yes these three i'm gonna group these three together because it's really really important and we're gonna go through each and every single one okay so unpluggable first off if you guys don't know it saves you from getting stolen off okay that's that's the whole gist of it unpluggable we all know what it does and it's a really great badge just to have on bronze because no one can really steal it off you especially if you're smart with the way you you know dribble and things like that so trust me having unpluggable on bronze is definitely more than enough you really don't need it on anything else and i would suggest you put your badge points somewhere else if you do have others uh, or more badge points to put towards other things okay so unpluckable and bronze now bailout bailout basically the description is passing out of a jump shot or layup yields fewer errant passes than normal okay so basically when you're passing out of a jump shot when you're passing out of a layup you're going to be able to hit the passes more effectively and trust me guys this is definitely a must-have badge okay this is really good because as you guys know even if you're a slasher one of the craziest like or like the best passes to make is when you're driving to the lane and you do that hop step and then you fake the pass out for a three before they think you know you're actually going for a layup and the only way you're going to be able to hit those passes effectively is if you have bailout but you do only need it on bronze i'm telling you bronze is more than enough for you to get the pass off even if you only got like 65 70 passing accuracy trust me you don't need anything crazy guys bronze bailout will save you every single time and it'll even get you buckets here and there even sometimes guys when you're shooting a jump shot and you find out your big man's like open in the paint you can throw that pass all right you'll have that confidence with it on so trust me bailout on bronze is definitely effective now lastly lob city pass 
passer on bronze. Lob City, guys, is the most slept on badge I have ever seen, okay? I didn't know how good it is to throw lobs, especially to a slasher. Like, no one can basically stop it. Even if you're a big man, guys, it is very unlikely for them to stop it because they don't know it's coming, all right? Unless you throw, like, 90 or 20 lobs, okay? But they don't really see it coming. It's really hard to contest the lob or even steal a lob. So trust me, having this on bronze will definitely have you finishing pretty much every alley-oop you throw to a slasher. And, you know, it makes for good highlight plays all around, okay? So those are definitely three badges that are a must-have in this order. But at the same time, guys, I would only get them on bronze. These aren't the badges you would max out on your guards i would definitely max out though handles for days and quick first step okay but we will get into the next badge that i would max out and that's definitely guys tight handles okay tight handles i would definitely max out straight away um because this one guys if you don't know the description is increases a player's ball handling ability and size up situations making it easier to break down an on ball defender okay so it basically guys helps you combo out very effectively and if you guys didn't already know ankle breaker this year isn't that great okay tight handles is actually the way to go and it helps a lot with um what do you call it kind of just breaking ankles okay it freezes your defender a bit um and by that time guys you should be sweet in that area okay so you're gonna be able to freeze your defenders get past them pull up for a shot whatever it is with tight handles on okay so that is definitely the next badge you want to max out now and the last badge guys this is the last badge i would actually max out on playmaking is space creator but this is really up to you how you want to take it if you are taking those fadeaway type shots then maybe max it out but if you can't get it on Hall of Fame, guys, I suggest you don't max it out. And here's the reason why. The reason why, guys, when you get it on Hall of Fame, you're actually able to ankle break people with it on. But it only kind of majority happens when you have it on Hall of Fame, okay? When you have it on gold, it doesn't really work, but it does create space. So if you do shoot those shots, um, you know, if you do shoot those like fadeaway type shots, then go for it. But sometimes, guys, having it on Hall of Fame will get you the ankle breakers, but gold, you barely get those ankle breakers. So this one's a bit of a tough one guys i don't personally put space uh like playmaking or sorry space creator on my playmaking uh badge points but it's really up to you if you do play that style go for it i do highly suggest it but the way i play guys i make my moves in other ways um and you know i kind of like to use tight handles more uh than space creator in all honesty okay and you do have to have a really high ball handling in order for space creator to work because then you'll fumble the ball when you do like your step backs and things like that so that's kind of a good badge yes but like i said it's really up to you whether you're that type of player um, the last guys the last badges okay these are the three badges I would max out and the rest that I'm about to show you I would definitely look at getting on bronze and silver I wouldn't suggest to max these badges out because yeah I would prefer you to have a spread of you know a bunch of silver and bronze playmaking badges than you know three or four that are completely maxed out okay so the badges guys that I absolutely love and I think you should have are uh, what do you call it needle threader flashy passer and even guys i would honestly say stop and go okay these three badges are really really effective flashy passer guys if you don't know if you're able to do a flashy pass it'll give you a boost to your takeover and pretty much anyone can make a flashy pass guys if someone's just has an open lane to the ring throw them a flashy pass guys you get extra boost on your uh takeover and trust me three or four pretty much flashy passes on like you know silver flashy passer guys you'll be on takeover straight away so trust me you're gonna be able to get takeover straight away and it doesn't even have to be a playmaking takeover guys whether you're a lockdown takeover whether it's a sharpshooter one or shot creator or even slashing guys having flashy passer on silver three or four flashy passes and you know you'll be on takeover no matter what takeover you actually chose so that's why i really like this one it can get you to take over faster which i really really love now thirdly guys we're gonna go on to needle threader needle threader when passing through a tight window between defenders a boost is given to a player's passing ability okay i think this is really important especially for your guards guys when you're trying to pass it into your big men when they're inside the paint sometimes you know there's just too many big bodies inside the paint so sometimes they kind of hit off someone goes out they steal the ball whatever like that so having needle threader on silver definitely helps you guys out on trying to get that pass through and hit it effectively um, on the dime okay 
And lastly, stop and go, guys. Stop and go, we know. Always for a ball handler to start and stop quickly with unique stops and launches exclusive to this badge. I really like this because this works well and it kind of helps you speed boost when quick first step doesn't work. So that's why I like to have this on silver because sometimes there's just some situations where quick first step doesn't actually activate. But having stop and go, guys, it will activate a little speed boost for you. So you have the choice between the two, okay? So at least if I have this on gold and I have quick first step on gold, any single opportunity I have to touch the ball and go to the paint, you know, shoot a three, whatever, I know I'm going to be speed boosting because I got quick first step and stop and go both on gold or even Hall of Fame if you want. So those are the badges, guys. When it comes to these others like Pass Fake Maestro, Post Spin Technician, Floor General, Dream Shake, Ankle Breaker, Break Starter, Dime, or Downhill, for a guard, in all honesty, guys, I wouldn't really worry about these badges, okay? I honestly wouldn't. The next badge, I guess, I'd maybe look at is maybe... I would honestly guys just say maybe like downhill or even floor general floor general is good But obviously it doesn't actually affect you and help you out um, And only helps out, you know your teammates. So that's the only reason why but yeah guys I would say if you like just stick to these badges. Well, how many is this three six? Uh, nine ten stick to these ten badges for a guard and you'll definitely be on your way to be making some good plays in the playmaking field Okay, so that was for the guards guys. Let's get into the centers the centers are a bit more easier So we're gonna get into that right now. Okay, the first one guys the first one I would definitely get is um, what do you call it? Is post spin technician. Okay, post spin technician. That's definitely an obvious, guys. If you don't know what it is, it's attempting to post spins and drive result in more effective moves and less chance of being stripped. Okay, post spin technician. It's really good. It works well, guys, with um, drop stepper. I think that is. So if you're a big man, if you can't have the drop stepper badge, definitely look at getting post spin technician, guys. You're gonna be getting around defenders very, very easily and very effectively. Okay. Especially when you have it on Hall of Fame, guys, it's pretty much a, it, it's, it's game over, all right? I'm telling you, you're going to be able to get around everyone and slam it at the ring, I'm telling you. So I kind of prefer Postman Technician over Drop Stepper because sometimes Drop Stepper, they're still there in front of you. Rather than Postman Technician, most of the time you're able to get completely around the defender um, and get an open lane to the bucket, uh, which is really good. So Postman Technician is definitely one of them. Secondly, guys, I would definitely look at getting Unplugable on Bronze and Bailout on Bronze, okay? So that's the same in that field guys like like i said big men are a bit easier but unpluckable bailout even though it's on a guard build guys definitely look at getting these two it'll help you out so much on bronze but the next one i would definitely max out guys is quick first step yes i would still get quick first step even on a big man i am telling you getting quick first step on a big man is it's really really good guys okay you're going to be able to speed pass a lot of defenders um and especially you know guards especially guys if you ever get switched onto a guard Trust me, you're going to be able to get around them very effectively because they're not able to move their quick, uh, their feet quick enough. So having quick first step on Hall of Fame, gold, whatever you can get it on, max that out as soon as you can. Okay, that is definitely another badge to have. Now, thirdly, guys, I would definitely look at getting, since you're not really uh, more of like a, uh, you're not really ball dominant, I wouldn't really look at getting handles for days um, because, yeah, you're not really going to be handling the ball unless maybe you are a post scorer and you're in the twos. But even then, guys, you're not really doing dribble moves. You're just holding LT and things like that. So the next badge I would definitely look at, guys, is Dream Shake. Okay, Dream Shake is kind of, hey, this one is kind of a slept on one, but it's really good. So if you don't know what Dream Shake does, Post move fakes have a higher chance of stunning a defender. Also, shot attempts following post moves and shot fakes have an increased shot percentage, okay? So, this one is actually insane, guys. I am telling you that right now. It is really good to have Dream Shake on because, yeah, it stuns defenders. I consider Dream Shake to be the tight handles of um, of defense, okay? Oh, sorry, of guards, okay? So, um, so Dream Shake is definitely a really, really good one to have on um, because you're going to be stunning defenders. And you, I'm pretty sure you get some pretty good animation that it looks more believable that you go into the ring so if you have them jumping guys i'm telling you you're gonna be set and that's in that field okay so dream shake definitely want to have on guys postman technician quick first step these are your maxed out badges um now the other one bronze uh would be plug unpluggable and bailout another one i would maybe get on bronze and silver is needle threader okay throwing passes can be more difficult if you are a big man so definitely getting needle threader on um silver or gold um, definitely help you out getting passes off very very effectively so you're probably thinking aj like what other badges would you have on in all honesty guys a lot of these are kind of guard 
type playmaking badges there isn't really any for your big man but the next one i would get if you are shooting fadeaways is definitely space creator okay um space creator is good for creating space if you are fading away but like i said that is only for um post players um uh, because you're going to be shooting fadeaways and stuff like that so space creator i definitely highly suggest that if you are that type of build um but if you want guys i would definitely look at maybe getting lob city passer just on bronze um and maybe you know sprinkling your your last badge points maybe on like canals for days or an even like uh what do you call it uh where is it yeah stop and go okay so even having stop and go on a big man will definitely help you out um when quick first step doesn't take into account but majority of the time guys if you are a big you're gonna be kind of like you won't be really the ball dominant person so stop and go isn't really as effective um but it is there for when you have the time so like i said guys like the way playmaking badges work it's a bit different people like to say oh max this out max this out max this out. i'm not really like that guys it's better to have multiple silver bronze badges in the playmaking field but the badges i would suggest you max out are quick first step post spin technician and dream shake okay those are the only three for big men the rest guys i would definitely look at sprinkling around um between bronze and silver um in these areas so it would be bailout needle threader stop and go unpluckable handles for days and lob city pasta okay so those are the ones you maybe want to just sprinkle your badge points towards and pick the ones that you want to your playing style um and even guys if you are like kind of like you kind of like fading away and stuff like that space creator is definitely one of them as well but besides this guys when it comes to ankle breaker break starter dimer downhill you don't really need that as a big man maybe you can have break starter on bronze but trust me break starter you don't need it to throw great passes guys you're gonna be able to throw the full court passes trust me um especially in park it's not that clogged but if you need it in rec guys maybe put on bronze um flashy passer floor general pass fake mitro tie handle space creator uh sorry not space creator but these these are uh, four yeah they're kind of like more for point guard so this is your big man lineup guys um when it comes to playmaking badges we have handles for days love city pasta quick first step post spin unplugable stop and go needle threader dream shake and bailout all right so whew, that was it for today's video guys i showed you all the best playmaking badges to have on i hope you did enjoy today's video guys i can't believe i actually just talked about it for like 15 20 minutes but hope it did help you guys out understand the game better especially if you are new to it so hope you did enjoy but let's get into the shout outs because i'm not even waiting for it so quick shout out to Love Sosa, GMB Supreme 23, Shreyan Krishan, X Kenshin Dripman, Dion White, Schmores, Uzi Kujo, OG Helm, Isaiah Mazga, and Cody G for coming my last video. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. But also, I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but I just wanted to say, just to finish up, thank you all again for all the love and support lately, guys. It's been absolutely insane and been absolutely crazy. So thank you again. Go have a great rest of the day. Go have some fun. Go get lit. Because you've watched this video for like 15 minutes. All right, get out of here. Go have some fun. Peace.